Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. It's a bit of a special video today, and it's a little more personal. Exactly one year ago, I created the channel and uploaded the first, and what I thought would be the only, Civ Overview. We're now entering Season 2, as it were, and in this video I'm going to take the opportunity to look back on the first year, and answer some of the questions that have been asked that relate more to the channel or to me than to the game necessarily. About a month ago I put up a video and asked you guys to submit questions and I've compiled some of the more popular ones together in this video, so let's check them out. The number one most popular question, would I volunteer to be a petard for the Japanese? Well, sure, why not? Seems safe enough. What would the civilization with lightning fast trebuchets need with petards anyway? I'd probably just end up sitting in the castle eating my 80 food. If I had to be anyone in the game though, I think I'd be the guy in the university that you're paying to research techs. Question number two, how did you start playing Age of Empires? Well, when I was a kid, in the early 2000s, I came across the Rise of Rome trial game, and I loved it, and maybe some of you guys have played it as well. So I ended up getting the full game, the original Age of Empires 1, which I played for a bit, but I wasn't really all that stoked on it, and I may not have stuck with the series at that point. As fate would have it though, my dad ended up buying me the strategy guide for the newly released Conqueror's Expansion as a present, which was of course the expansion I didn't own to a game I didn't own. But now that I had the strategy guide, I figured I may as well buy Age of Empires 2 instead of returning the book, and it's really been my favorite game ever since. Third question here, where did the name Spirit of the Law come from? Now I know you're probably expecting a good story behind this one, but there's really not much there. It was just something that one of my English professors said once, and I thought it sounded cool. So I kept it in the back of my mind for future use. I'm not sure why I liked it so much. I think I like the words that make it up, and I also like the whole concept of the phrase as well. Number four, why do you like playing as Japanese so much? Well, I had a few favorite civilizations when I used to play on the MSN zone 10 years ago. And my favorite was first the Byzantines, because I was a big fan of ancient Rome, and then the Teutons, because they just seemed really strong to me, and then I finally settled on the Huns being my go-to civilization. Since getting the HD version just over a year ago, I decided that I was going to pick one civilization that fit me and to get really good with them, and it seemed like the Huns were really trendy at the time, so I was open to switching it up. The process I went through in picking a civilization to work with was pretty similar to the poll that I made and uploaded onto the channel, and I really just matched up which civilization had all of my go-to unit choices and didn't waste tech tree points, so to speak, by having units that I rarely use. So it turns out that Japanese fit that criteria the best and happened to have some solid civ bonuses as well. Now I'd never say that they're the best civilization, but I would just say that they match me pretty well. And I've always thought they were a bit underrated, and that even ended up being what my first video is about. Number five, a few people asked some different wordings of the question, what in the game would I change? One thing I've always thought would be cool is a really nomadic civilization, like maybe a North American civilization, that couldn't build camps, but the town center could be relocated just to have a civilization with a really different feel to it that doesn't have the normal build that all the other civilizations go through. I also think it'd be cool if raiding units like the Berserk and the Tarkin gave you resources as they damage buildings as well, and kind of captured a raiding aspect there. Those might all be bad ideas, but if I were to try to find things to shake up, those would be the places that I'd start. But I mean, it's a great game how it is, I wouldn't say anything really has to change. Number six, I get asked this question quite a bit, and it's will I do build orders on the channel? First off, a common theme that you might notice in my videos is I like to create content rather than just report what somebody else thinks or has found or just presenting something that's from the game files. I guess you could word it as I'd rather be a scientist than a reporter for the Age of Empires community. And I'm also not totally confident I could really do that with build orders. So that's the easy answer. The other sort of more philosophical aspect to it, as weird as it sounds, is I'm actually not a big fan of build orders circulating in the community in general. My feeling's always been that that takes away a thinking aspect of the game, and that all the decisions are made for you, and you just memorize the perfect build order for each map and civilization combo. Now you might say, but hang on, this channel does optimization questions all the time, and isn't a build order just that same thing? I think the difference in my mind is the optimization stuff that I do is giving you knowledge so that you can weigh the factors and make an educated decision in the game 
keeping in with the strategy nature of Age of Empires, and not just give you guys rules or a list of actions to follow every time so that you can play like a robot. I think having the basic information of how many paladins you need to pay off for the upgrade, or how many villagers to justify getting the wheelbarrow from an economic point of view, those are all just little facts that you can use to do your own thinking and decision making. And knowing the components of the decision empowers you and lets you be flexible, rather than telling you just what's the best build order or what do all the pros do in a certain situation. Now, I don't want to close any doors on it, but that's part of why I haven't done any to this point. Number seven, do I go to university and what do I study? Well, I'm actually finished university now. I got degrees in psychology, English, biology, math, and education. And if that's surprising and makes you lose a little faith in Canada's university system, it's probably because I know so little about history and you're all just used to me butchering pronunciations for so long. I like to think I'm not as dumb as my history knowledge makes me sound. Number eight, do I have any plans to play with subscribers and or streaming? Well, at the moment, my Steam friend list is full, so I'm kind of stuck without a good way of organizing games and communicating when I'm online to other people. Lately, I haven't been logging into the Steam friend list when I play games, and I've just been opening big 8-player games and letting anybody join, so at least there's an equal chance for everybody to notice them and get in on them instead of just the same group of people every time. I've also been getting a few requests for the odd gameplay video, so at some point I could start doing a weekly stream on Twitch and repost the stream here afterwards for people who prefer to watch the videos here, and hopefully in combination with Facebook and Twitter, that way it would be at least easier for people to know when the games are happening. And that's definitely better than the system I'm using right now, which is not having a system. I don't know when all that would necessarily happen, but it seems like something that would be fun and is definitely on my radar at the moment. Number nine, what equipment do I use to record? Well, basically there's a microphone, an audio interface between the microphone and the computer, an audio program, a screen capture program, and as of a few months ago, I upgraded from Windows Movie Maker to a real editing program. Rather than go into it in depth, I think I'll just put the equipment that I use in the description for people who are interested. My favorite author. I guess Bill Bryson. I think he's pretty funny, and he writes some science-y stuff that I really like. My favorite unit. Visually, probably the Cavalier. I know there's a lot of people who prefer the look of the Paladin, but something about the helmet always reminded me of Frank from Donnie Darko. Gameplay-wise, I'd say I have the most fun with the Mangonel line, and when you get enough of them, it's just so much fun to take out even big groups of cavalry. My favorite wonder is the Huns, definitely. My top five favorite civilizations. Well, I'm going to interpret that as my favorite to play and not the best. So Japanese, of course, and the next four in no particular order are probably Goths, Byzantines, Spanish, and maybe the Magyars, just to have a Forgotten Empire sieve in there. Do I plan on posting more of my music on the channel? I do appreciate the interest when I put up the full version of the channel intro, but I think it'd be kind of cheesy to promote my music through the channel, and it's just not really my style. Will I ever be doing Age of Empires 1, Age of Empires 3, or Age of Mythology? I sort of doubt at this point that I would make the transition to a different game on this channel. If I were to start doing another game, I would probably start a new channel, and I would definitely let you guys know about that. But I have no plans to do anything except for Age of Empires 2. There's still so much to look at, there's still so much interest from you guys, and there's so much interest from me in the game that I just don't see transitioning out of that at any point in the near future. Will I be covering the African Kingdom civilizations? Definitely, I will be looking at the new civilizations and any new game mechanics that they have come out and just do the same thing that I've been doing except with the new game that isn't quite as figured out. So if anything, it's going to be more fun and hopefully helpful for you guys still as well. For people who aren't planning to get it though, don't worry, I will still be doing some of the regular civilizations and mechanics. But you have to understand it's the big new thing and so try to have patience with that. So those were the popular questions that I've compiled. Thanks to everybody for all the continued support. And I have a new Civ Overview coming out, probably later this week. Of course, you're still more than welcome to send in new intros featuring your gameplay and your creativity. And I'm even joining in on the fun and making a brand new intro for the new year. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.